Hello, this is Philip Early from Platinum Properties. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, today we're going to talk about maintenance and uh, hiring a property management company to coordinate maintenance on your behalf. Uh, maintenance tends to be the number one point of contention between a management company and a homeowner or a landlord. Uh, if there's going to be friction, it will happen during uh, you know maintenance on the property. So with that being said, the number one uh, concern that you should have, in my opinion, is to uh, research what the policies and procedures are for your management company and the way they handle maintenance. Um, if those policies and procedures match your expectations, um, you know, let's say uh, you know, when the phone rings, if that management company's answer is going to be about the same as what yours will be, pretty close to, you probably have a good match with that management company. Um, you know, that tenant is a customer. Uh, if they're giving great customer service, they'll remain in the home longer, they'll take care of the home better, and at the end of the day, you'll net more money uh, by taking care of that customer. Um, if you feel that that customer, you know, if you don't have that mindset or your management company doesn't have that mindset, there's gonna be conflict, there's gonna be friction, um, and it's gonna be a relationship that goes south down the road. Um, so again, make sure those policies and procedures meet your expectations. Uh, make sure that they uh, um, come up with the same answer you would if you were to p have picked up that phone. Uh, on top of that, the number one complaint man or uh, homeowners have, landlords have with their property management companies is a lack of communication and service. Uh, make sure that you know you want to hear that your management company understands that you can handle good news, bad news, but never no news, and then verify how they do that for you. Uh, take a look at their systems. If they have automated systems, if everything's online, if everything you know, if everyone has an owner, a tenant portal, uh, if there's a systematic approach to how they handle uh, situations when they come in, odds are they're going to be able to communicate extremely well with you. Uh, if they're going to go ahead, you know, if they, you know, if one property manager picks up the phone uh, for all maintenance requests and handles it that way, kind of shoebox accounting, you know that the ball is going to, they're going to drop the ball sooner than late, sooner or later uh, when volume picks up. Let's say that first hot day in August, uh, and they're using a cell phone approach for everything. You know they're not going to be able to get to everybody throughout that day to take care of the you know 100 air conditioning units that broke down so again systems policies and procedures are extremely important to take a look at prior to hiring a property management company uh, when you hire a company uh, based on service uh, if they make your life more difficult you don't need to hire them so uh, you know their, their their job is to make your life easier and uh, make sure they can accomplish that with uh, you know the back office and what they've implemented on your behalf I uh, appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Have a great day.